What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home for the 2020 World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Matt Moreno, Daniel Stark, and we are here to make some predictions about Wednesday's wild card game between the Dodgers and Cardinals. Before we do, I'll set the stage a little bit, and then Daniel will get to you first. But looking at the Dodgers and Cardinals, there's a couple streaks on the line here. The Dodgers, who are the home team, come in on a 15-game home winning streak. It's the best in franchise history. Of course, they were 16 games better than the Cardinals in the regular season, but the Cardinals are coming in on a streak of their own. They've won 19 of their last 22, which includes losing the last two games of the regular season, likely because they were resting some guys. Again, they finished 90 and 72 on the season. The Dodgers, just about everywhere you look, they score more runs per game. They give up less runs per game. They have a higher on-base percentage. They have a better bullpen. Across the board, the Dodgers are better, which is why Vegas has the Dodgers as heavy favorites, plus 180 if you want to bet the Cardinals to win this one. So, Daniel, I'll come to you, and I'll ask for two things. The first is a score, and the second is give me a guy that you think is a standout performer on Wednesday's game. All right, well, I I definitely don't want to sound overconfident here because I fully understand that in a one-game wild card, anything could happen. Uh, you know, the Cardinals, uh, they've been playing really well as of late. I don't know what exactly it was, but like 18 of 19 to end the season. So they're playing well. Uh, with that being said, though, I think the Dodgers are going to win this game. You know, they, they've they been there before. You know, a lot of players on the Dodgers roster have played in winner-take-all games before. Um, they understand what's at stake. They know that this team has World Series aspirations and you don't want to get booted in, be in the wild card round, which I don't even consider the true playoffs. Like you want to get at least a five game series. So I think they're going to come out uh, hot. I think they're going to get to Wainwright early. Uh, I'm my my I guess player of the game or the guy I'm looking out for is, of course, Corey Seager. I think he's going to go deep in the first inning get the Dodgers off to a good start. I think Wainwright will settle in from there a little bit, but the damage will have already been done because I think Max Scherzer is going to pitch really well. Uh, you know, one run, pitch into the seventh inning, six and a third, six and two thirds, something like that. And I think the Dodgers will, will add, you know, a few runs late uh, to make it a little less stressful, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I think my final score prediction, and I said this same score the other night, I'm going to go with uh, six, two Dodgers and, and Corey Seager's my player of the game with Max Scherzer also gets an honorable mention for, for tossing. Uh, that was a, it, not only, I mean, Seager was the most predictable thing that, that is going to happen <laughs> on this show, first of all, but you did at least come around yeah. with a little spiciness on the take saying first inning home run for Corey Seager. So Matt, he's got yeah. six to two Dodgers. Who do you have? Uh, I think the Dodgers also win for a lot of the reasons Daniel brought up. You know, I think one thing with this team is all season long, they've emphasized, hey, you know, we take it one game at a time. We're not looking at who our opponent might be tomorrow or next week or whatever the case may be. I think that'll be a factor. And obviously, like the stats you touched on, the Dodgers, you know, and I know games aren't played on paper, but on paper, they are head and shoulders better than the Cardinals mm -hmm. team. Anything can happen. I still think Dodgers win probably about 5-2. Uh, I disagree with Daniel, and I think Wainwright will have a little success early, and then the Dodgers kind of figure him out in the middle innings or so. Uh, Max Scherzer, I think, will settle somewhere in the middle of maybe not quite as dominant as we saw during his first nine starts with the team, where he was basically unhittable. But I think he still gets into the sixth or seventh inning, allows a run. Maybe the bullpen allows another run. That's how you get to 5-2. I think it's easy to say Scherzer is a player that you're going to kind of watch for. I think he's he'll obviously like need to pitch well for the Dodgers to win. Uh, so if not him, I'll just go with Trey Turner because obviously he finished the regular season on a pretty good yeah, tear. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like. I mean, the the thing about Seager and Trey Turner is both of them should factor well in this matchup. Um, Seager is the Dodgers' best player against right-handed pitching. Obviously, Wainwright is a righty. Jack Flaherty, who might be the first guy out of the pen, is also a righty. Trey Turner, not a whole, not too far behind. He's got an 857 OPS on the season. He's also 5 for 14 against Wainwright in his career with two doubles. So both good selections. Um, I, I, th I believe this is the same prediction that I made the other night, but I'm going 6-1 to one Dodgers. I... I, I hesitate there only because when we started, when I started picking against the Dodgers last year um, is when they started winning games. Like when I gave up on them in the NLCS is when they started winning. So <laughs> I thought about going the other way, but I'm going to go 6-1 Dodgers. And it's for, again, we, we'd be repeating ourselves. The Dodgers are better across the board. It is one game. That part terrifies me. But I do like the Wainwright matchup. This is a guy who's got 
it, one of the worst whiff rates in all of baseball. Um, the Dodgers match up well against righties. They match up well against his pitch mix, kind of the sinkers to right-handed hitter, pitchers to hitters and a curves against lefties. I like the way that shakes up. And the Dodgers just crush right-handed pitching. They're about basically in the top five to seven in every offensive category when it comes to right-handed pitching. On the flip side, you know, Justin and I did a deep dive on this, but the Cardinals are really bad against Scherzer historically. Everybody's bad against Scherzer, but Goldschmidt, who is their second best right hitter against right-handed pitching, is five for 32 with 16 strikeouts in his career against Max Scherzer. Um, you go down the list. Yadi Molina is one for 17 in his career against Max Scherzer. Arenado is two for 10 with five strikeouts. O'Neill, who's their best hitter against right-handed pitching, was 0 for 3 in the one matchup against Scherzer thus far this season. So I, I think Scherzer is going to be really good. I think he's going to be fired up. I, I didn't really love seeing him at that uh, at the uh, at the football game last night. I'm going to be honest. So I need I need you dialed in for this Wednesday outing there, Max. But uh, anyways, I, I've got Dodgers six to one. As far as a player of the game, um, not a guy that I would expect, but I'm going to go with Justin Turner as a player of the game. Um, this is a guy who historically has been one of the team's best hitters come October, come the postseason. And I like the fact that he's faced Wainwright before. He's three for nine with two doubles. He has the highest OPS of any of the Dodgers who have played against um, Wainwright. So I like Justin Turner. I think he's probably going to be settling in towards the four, five, six part of the lineup. And I just think he's going to be able to do some damage with guys on base. We know the moment's not going to be too big for him. He has hit well of late. And so uh, I'm going to go with Justin Turner. Who knows if, if I knew Matt Beatty was starting, maybe I'd throw a Matt Beatty claim out there, but I'll <laughs> save that for another day. So there you go. We got three predictions of the Dodgers winning. We'd love throw your prediction below. Give us a score. Give us a player of the game and we'll see how that plays out. A couple updates for you just in the coming days. Um, Matt will be at uh, the practice today. Um, and so he'll have a ton of interviews that will get posted. So be sure you're subscribed to your Dodger Blue 1958 on YouTube for that. We've got a ton of content coming in the coming days. So be, be sure to check that out. If you missed it yesterday, Justin Lorber and I did a 45-minute deep dive on Scherzer's matching up against the Cardinals. Wainwright, how he matches up. Justin did some digging on how the Cardinals might deploy their bullpen what their history is as far as leaving starters in, not leaving starters in. And then we had a great conversation about who plays first and who plays left. So check all that stuff out. That's Matt Moreno. I'm Jeff Spiegel. That's Daniel Stark. And we appreciate you joining us. Check out DodgerBlue.com for all the latest. And we will see you soon. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.